deer. Deer. <laughs> Welcome back to Hook to Hunt, our fellow outdoorsmen. Today, hopefully, we're going to bring you an exciting muzzle loader round test. So, John and I, over the last couple years, have had a few problems with our muzzle loaders. I never um, used to use a muzzle loader, and then this guy talked me into it. I always use a shotgun. So, started using a muzzle loader. Now, we're going to play around and find the perfect round. So yeah, our issue that we've been running into is we'd shoot deer and we'd be left with just a little ball of hair and no blood trail. So one of the main things we want to test today is when these bullets actually expand and when do they really start making a larger wound channel? Because in the past, we know he, we didn't- He gets lucky, he just, he drops them, they fall off a bluff and yeah. then we just drive around and find them. <laughs> Yeah, the, it's the cliff factor. But uh, John has shot a few last year. I, um, I had two incidents last year where I shot deer within 15 yards, 20 yards, both on film, but uh, I never found either of them and they were both good shots and nothing, no hide, no hair. So, and I was using a 250 sable. So we're gonna we're gonna try and see if we can find something different. So, yep, so we got the ballistic scale block behind us. Uh, we're gonna fire some rounds in it. We're not gonna fire as many rounds as we were hoping because we don't have enough room But uh, we're gonna go through the spread of rounds when we fire So the primary thing we want to find out today is wound channel and blood trail because we want to recover our deer um, All of them are kill shots But they're hard to find when they're not bleeding out right away. Yeah. So in addition to that We're uh, we're starting with a little bit of business and at the end We're gonna finish with a little bit of fun a little bit of pleasure a little pleasure. Just don't get too pleasured by me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. But uh, no, we got some got some stuff we're gonna shoot and hopefully blow up. Uh, Ho hopefully our dog don't pee on our stuff this time. Yeah. But thanks for calling that out last time. We didn't catch that in the video <laughs> clip. But uh, no, we uh, we have some stuff we're gonna shoot at and have a little bit of fun at the end. So stay tuned. All right, first round we're firing here first is the Power Belt Platinum. This is supposed to be a heavier round that you can shoot anything from medium sized game to large game. So we'll fire the big boy down round down down yonder. Safety first. We got our fire extinguishers down there in case it gets unmanageable. Hey, hey, car ramrod. Team ramrod. So I am shooting a CVA Optima VR. Put my primer in there or we'll fire down range. Safety first. Far left. Fire in the hole. Yeah. Hey, your paper target isn't will survive any long. <laughs> Did it exit? Man. It came out the side. Nope. Hey. hey. So, yep, the main round came out the side. All right, we'll cut it open at the end, but you can tell it it opened up pretty quick. And what was that again? That was the platinum, right? That was the platinum. Power belt platinum. Oh yeah, she opened up channel channel wounds. Actually, you can try coming up here. You can see pieces of that channel wound. We'll go through them one at a time because the damage is in this block is just gonna increase drastically. But I wonder if I flip it up inside to be able to see through. Ooh. So there's some trap metal there. 
Oh, so it was in probably two inches and then it really just opened up. That's awesome. That thing opened up in the first probably two inches. Two, three inches impact. I don't like how it rolled out though. Well, they, the round starts tumbling around inside, so. But, all right. Well, we might be able to get four, man. Oh, look at, look at how wide this thing spread. Yeah, you might. We'll we'll fire the three and we'll go from there. So platinum, power belt platinum. That was. There's some platinum. I think that's for all you rappers out there. <laughs> All right, this time around, round number two, we are shooting the Power Belt Aerolite. This is for medium size to medium heavy size game, I would say. So like a white tail. Yeah, like a white tail deer. That's probably your max on that. What else would you use these for? <clears throat> Blowing stuff up. Who would do that? Fire in the hole. I've seen it hit. <laughs> I, could, I could see it hit. I love my hobby. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, what's that? Tanner Oh, look at that. Dead sunny. Fill this guy up. <sighs> Came out the bottom. Yeah. And tumble. Oh, Here. it's in there I still. It. It's I in can't. there still. Okay. Yeah, that's because the table. No, it went through the table. Huh? Oh, it hit the table and stayed in it. Came down, bounced off the table, and stayed. My in table it. is so strong, it's almost bulletproof. All right, so I'm gonna get out my phone and I'm gonna shine a light from the backside because if this one's in the middle, and I want to make sure that the damage difference just doesn't appear that way because how dark the ballistic shell is. That one didn't open up near as soon. Yeah, that's that's what it looks like. It doesn't, yeah, it didn't open up and create the wound channel even close to what that other round created. I'm thinking right in there is where it really started to open up. Oh, yeah. That's still six inches, though. But look at, look at that compared to... Oh, I know. To that. So just from seeing these two, um, if I'm shooting just a power belt, I'm going to shoot the platinum all day. So. But that's tests we got to prove on another day. But bullet for bullet, I'm going to say. Uh, as far as expansion? So far that uh, that platinum has got my vote. Just going off expansion, wound channel, and blood. And as soon as that expansion happens... Man, that platinum just was excellent. The Ooh. rappers got it right. Platinum. Going platinum. Now what do we got? Now we're going to get away from the old power belt. All right, next up, Federal Borlock. Johnny Boy really wants to see this one get sent down range. How many grains is that? What we got here? We got 350 grains, so this is a much heavier round. That's a heavyweight. So it'll have the knockdown power, it'll have the weight behind it, but how does it expand? Ear buffs. Hey, safety glasses. Safety glasses. Always look out for your body. <laughs> Stars and stripes, baby. Red, white, and blue. You ready? You ready? Go, sir. Fire in the hole. Yeah, uh, your uh, GoPro shook a little on that one. Hopefully. 
<laughs> it did. The whole thing jumped quite a bit. That hole. <laughs> Where'd I hit? It hit low. Y way low. Holy cow. You blew my table apart. I was wondering why the whole table shook. All right, for some reason that one. Went so late. much for my table being bulletproof. Oh my God. However. So. We're gonna do a reshot of that one though. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna flip this block around, but. Look at the wound <laughs> It looks like it expanded pretty good. And it looks like it did it right away, but we also hit the table. Here's. Did you I just kick it into the it, table? Yeah, it just went into the table. The table just ate the round. Or, or a chunk of lid. Here, let's pick this Wait. up and we'll at least. So. He just killed my table. I don't know what to say. It looks like it expanded right away either way. Look at though. It went all this, the way through. No, that's the main round right there. So the main round's right here. Pieces of it still went through. So you so get that the, thing like shrapneled. Yeah, so this thing just blew apart in chunks. However, Joe, that's heavier, so it is gonna go lower. Yeah, so part, maybe I'll when I shoot it again, I'll shoot it a little higher. Uh, we'll give it another test shot, but it looks like it started expanding immediately. One chunk came out almost immediately, and it, it went into the table. I just knocked it in, and that was a nice size chunk too. Like that would have just tore everything up. You have you have pieces that blew apart over here, and then the main round came to here. But you still have another big chunk over here. You had some pass through. Look and at you the, have look at the plywood, Joe. Look at the plywood. And you have pieces that pass through. Look at the plywood. That's the uh, yeah, you another chunk to pass through. So that thing just blew apart everywhere. But just in case the table threw us off, what do you think? Flip it around and fire it again. I think so. Aim a little higher this time. Or do we flip it sideways and fire some more rounds into it? We do that. We do have some other rounds we could fire through it. This whole back side of the block has a few chunks of lead in it, but it's not that beat up. What are you doing? All right, we're going to fire another round. I'm going to try not to hit the table here on this one. We got our camera reset set up because this thing jumped like, I don't even know how high in the air. What do you think, John? <laughs> I don't know. What did you all review it? Luckily, luckily we didn't lose the camera. All right, I'm gonna fire right through the back side sideways. So we turn the block. Yeah, there's gonna be some stuff in here, but this is the cleanest part of the block. I'm gonna try to hit higher. You're a squirrel hunter. Should, should I pick a squirrel out? You know, you have plenty of suggestions in the broadhead video about how to get rid of those squirrels. I I want them gone, man. You see them, <laughs> snipe them. All right, round two, Borlock, 350 grain, lead round. Heavy weight. Heavy weight. Bring out the heavy weights. Iron the hoe. Oh, well, the table didn't jump that time. All right, let's check her out. Oh, she for sure tore out the back. It's buried in the wood. So we got four sheets of plywood, and it did not pass through. It went to the second sheet of plywood. Uh, I'm gonna cut it open, so I'm having a hard time seeing this ballistic gel is a little dark, as you guys can see, and plus it's the second time we used it. We used it on our uh, broadhead video test, and I remelted it down and used it again. So probably, we'll retire this ballistic gel after this round, but uh, we're gonna cut it open, try to get a better idea of what's going on here. Don't worry about cutting the table, though. No. All right, that shows a much better picture. All right, so it started expanding. Instantly. You know what I mean? It started getting quite a bit wider, like, Instantly. what, two, three inches in, and where before it really started blowing up. So, hell of a wound channel. I'll show the other half of this. Same thing, same results on the other side. This thing just blew up. So, let's go over here. 
we'll go back and we'll cut open we'll cut open our first round here should be our first one cut right in the middle of it is this her yep, first, round? first round all right are you cutting right in the middle of it yeah i'm just gonna flip it out yep that's the first one all right we just cut this one open this is the platinum as you can see in the platinum that one also expanded and blew out right away um you got a huge wound channel and then it rolled to the bottom and it actually hit my table yeah it rolled to the bottom you're going to see this thing expanded quite a bit like this goes right, pretty right deep where it came out this goes pretty deep in the sides when you look at this here so definitely a solid wound channel on that one and then this last one here that is the uh, arrow light i believe yep all right, so this is the arrow light. And honestly, after I cut it open, it did expand a little quicker than we thought it did. It uh, didn't look as devastating as their other ones because it only expanded in a few sections. They only had a few pieces break off and run out. I cut it open again. It just did not have the same type of damage. All it didn't of, have the expansion that the other two have. Yeah, it did not blow apart and create the same wound channels yeah so um but i will say that one expanded pretty quick too but it definitely did not blow apart or maybe it didn't blow apart as fast as the other two but that bore lock and that platinum both did solid damage i'd say what do well, you if you're going to buy a muzzleloader joe and you're going out muzzleloader hunting what round are you carrying Cause I know what I'm carrying. Well, knowing that I bought the from, platinum. From what I've seen, I'm bringing the Federals out. Yeah, he, he bought the Borlock Federals. I bought the platinum and I'm in the Aerolite. And you know I'll be shooting the platinum this year. I want that knockdown power. I, I was curious about the platinum though. That was right up there with what I wanted to shoot. I thought the, I wanted to test the platinum. I thought the Aerolite was gonna do better. I thought I was gonna have a better expansion, but that. I, I wanted either uh, the platinums or or my borlocks, but I do have another one that I want to shoot. But uh, yeah, we we ran out of gelatin. We were afraid we didn't have enough gelatin to do a quality test, but we actually had three or four other rounds we wanted to test. But uh, next time around, we'll get more uh, ballistics gel. Next time around, I'll go make a hundred pound block. How does that sound? Well, we got all kinds of tests <laughs> for next time. So, all right. Well, until next time. Well, hey, we ain't done yet. What do you mean? We're done. Oh, it's time to blow stuff up. What, what are we blowing up? Whatever you're ready. Fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what fire extinguishers do. <laughs> <laughs> he was itching to blow something up. <laughs> Every muzzle loader on a shot. All right, I want to shoot a fire extinguisher now. No, you gotta wait. Like a little child. <laughs> <laughs> and now he knows why. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna step out of the air here for a second. <laughs> I'll let him walk through that. <laughs> hey, your camera's still standing. That's good. I worked there for seven years. <laughs> right. In. Double, out. Doubled up. In. Not out. Did you shoot that with the bore lock? No, that was arrow light. All right, that's not too bad penetration for arrow light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it don't taste real good. <laughs> we got. Quit moving around. There you go. All the way through one finger fire extinguisher into the big boy, and then the round's gonna be sitting in that big boy. Yep. All right, more fun. My turn. What am I blowing up? Oh no. Go trick or treat.
That's disappointing. <laughs> So as you can see, the pumpkin survived. Obviously, we uh, needed to do some more research on our tannerite. Um, never had that issue before, but it's not going off. So we made a slight adjustment. <laughs> One fire extinguisher, two fire extinguishers, and a little hat. So. We're gonna fire one down range and uh, I guess we'll figure uh, out our tannerite issue for the next next episode. Are you ready, sir? Fire. Fire in the hole. Yeah, shooting the tops off is definitely. But hey, just so you guys know.